Hey there church, so glad to be with you this week. My name is Brittany Dunklin. I am one of the children's pastors here at West Salem Foursquare. And again, just so excited to be getting into the word and getting to speak with the adults of the congregation this week. Um, this week we're in Romans. We uh, looked at Romans 9 through 16. Uh, something that really stuck out to me was actually in Romans 12. Uh, you know, there's a whole lot going on in the world, a whole lot of divisiveness and just trying to figure out what side we're on and things like that. And something that stuck out to me this week was in Romans 12 talking about the body of Christ and how each part is different, uh, but we're all made to work together. So I'm going to read a little bit of that. Uh, Romans 12 verse 3. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all others. Uh, the first thing that kind of came to mind when uh, I thought about this was actually my daughter Beatrice. She is just about one years old. She's learning to walk. And just thinking about how her body is learning to work with the other pieces of her body. And, uh, you know, some parts you'll see are more developed and faster than others. You know, the top half of her is ready to go for it and the feet are a little slower. Um, and so it's hilarious, but it's also fascinating to just see how she's learning every day that these pieces need to work together and these pieces need to build stronger and other pieces need to slow down and wait so that they can all get that common goal which is walking um another thing that actually came to mind though was our sunday morning children's ministry team they are incredible uh, and they are a very wide range of gifts and we need each one of those gifts to get our message to our kids each week uh, we have some teachers who are silly and crazy and loud and wild and, you know, love to throw out candy and, you know, get the kids excited about Jesus, and that's awesome. Uh, but we also have some teachers who are very mild and calm in their approach, and they really make sure that the point is driven home by asking questions and waiting for those answers and taking time with the kids. Uh, and I love that because every kid is different, just like every adult is different. We all learn different, we all take information in differently. And so to see that we can't just have one type of leader or teacher, uh, because there will be kids who will be left out and won't understand it or get it the same way. Um, so I love seeing these, these groups of teachers work together for the common goal, which is of course to, to teach our kiddos. Uh, so I actually wanted to encourage uh, you guys this week, uh, as you are going through your daily work and, and whatever you're doing, um, you're going to run into those people in the body of Christ who are different, who maybe do things the way that you wouldn't do them or do things a little bit differently. Uh, and I want you to take time in those moments to think about and appreciate those differences and realize that God made those people that way for a reason and they put them in your path for a reason. And instead of being frustrated or put off by you know the way that they're approaching it, appreciate that and think about maybe what is God teaching me here and how can we work together as a body towards our common goal which is obviously to glorify him and to do it as well. So think about that this week and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Amen. Thank you again everyone for joining us this week. Uh, if you'd like to follow along with the pause reading plan with us you can check that out at wsfc.org right there on the front page. Also, if you need to get in contact with anyone on staff for prayer or you have any questions about our church, again, you can visit the staff page right on our website, wsfc.org. Thanks again for joining us. Have a great week.